dear friends welcome back to sparkle with jyoti today's video is going to be in the series of videos which we have been making last couple of weeks about jobs how to get the jobs here what kind of jobs are going to be in demand here in sweden and uh, what kind of approach you should have towards swedish employers etc etc you must be knowing that because i had put a story on my instagram and if you're not following me there please go and follow me on instagram so that you are uh, get to know the you know up, up and personal life what i lead here in sweden and all the activities what we undergo here and what kind of lifestyle we lead here okay and uh, yeah so this video is going to be divided into two parts and the top topic is that what what uh, you know you should uh, keep in mind like what uh, points you should keep in mind before accepting the job offer from the swedish employer okay so since i do not want to make this video long i have divided it into two parts so this part will consist of five points and the next video will consist of another five points okay so before starting please go and hit the subscribe button and uh, the no, uh, notification bell as well so that you are notified of my each and every video you do not miss any information and those who are new my name my name is jyoti i make all videos about swedish lifestyle culture etc so yeah if you have already done that then without further ado let's get started so guys let's begin the first question you should be asking your company who is offering you the offer letter is uh, whether the company is having collective agreement with the union okay and what is collective agreement that is just a written agreement a written document between uh, the uh, employer and the union okay so uh, there is no law as such here but uh, unions play a very important role here in sweden and uh, you know they help you basically because 90% of the uh, uh, like employers do have a contract with them and uh, the employees are protected by uh, the unions so you have all your uh, facilities like uh, if uh, sick pay and uh, your parental leave your vacation days and everything is uh, covered and taken care of by the union so that you are not cheated off and you get all these facilities like 90 percent there's uh, no problem but then it's it's so it's uh, better if you make sure uh, whether these uh, your company is a part of this collective agreement as well and also uh, they have like a basic uh, salary range as well so you know you make sure that you have that uh, basic salary range so that your visa and everything is smoothly approved and you don't face face any problem so overall uh, you know this collective agreement is very important so do check with your employer if they have this agreement with the union you know that will make you i think safer and you will feel better uh, and uh, yeah in good hands and you know very free mind free mindedly you can just accept the offer letter then so guys second point uh, you need to check is that uh, you know whether you have uh, annual pay rise okay so we all have this questions whether you you will get salary increase and it doesn't operate like uh, india here like uh, uh, it's it's here it's based on the inflation rate the salary increase so you get uh, like three percent uh, pay rise every year like you know every year on year uh, but uh, yeah so it is, it is not that great actually it is just three percent but then you know that is how it works here and uh, you know this collective agreement which i spoke about earlier you know make sure that uh, you get all these uh, benefits so you can negotiate your pay rise uh, your uh, salary increase and everything you know in under the collective agreement and uh, one more uh, good thing which i want to mention is that you know this uh, salary also inclu includes you know any exorbitant courses or any in in like you know any in service training you want to undergo any extra courses you want to undergo so this is included so basically these courses are quite expensive right so your company or your uh, offer letter your uh, salary you know includes uh, that so this is like an extra perk what you get so you do have uh, you can avail these courses for completely free you can also go to a uh, gym like there are gym memberships and there's a lot of uh, uh, like health uh, benefits and health products which you can take you know uh, like differs from company to company but do you you do have these benefits as well so you can keep that in your mind so guys moving on the third important point to be considered is uh, whether you are covered or whether you're insured right because if anything happens to you if uh, you know said then what can you do right so uh, you need to ask whether you are covered and uh, do you get pay money basically so uh, yes uh, if you do get injured at the workplace when it happens to you at the workplace then you do get covered so by default uh, the the insurance department like the folk shark which is there in sweden they do pay uh, pay you out like up to 80 
20% of your salary uh, but the maximum payout is just 28,000 so keep that in mind and 20% is covered by the collective agreement so you know in this it, it do all uh, the collective agreement does come handy in this particular area and uh, they also sometimes in some cases pay you 75 to 90 percent of your salary if you are injured at the workplace and uh, you know this insurance part uh, is very important uh, for your work permit as well so insurances do matter a lot to uh, get you know your work permit easily smoothly without any hassle so yeah so keep that in mind so guys the next point uh, important point to be asked is uh, what is the parental leave situation here and as you all know that you know Sweden does have a very enviable parental leave you do have 480 days of uh, leave a parental leave per child and uh, under the collective agreement you can uh, get uh, 90% of the salary paid uh, you know if you decide to be your child for six months so and also there is no capping you know so if you have a higher income you can get paid more as well so that is pretty great actually and uh, uh, yeah so this but it's better to clarify with your employer before accepting the offer so keep these things in mind so guys the next point uh, is uh, how much holiday do you get uh, you know if you work here and uh, uh, in a standard Swedish place you know you do get like 25 days of annual leave and uh, that increases uh, as per you age as you get older and uh, number of years you spend in that particular job same job basically holidays are in the summer and uh, usually uh, you it's not uncommon it's very common to have like six to seven weeks of holiday per year here in Sweden so all these points like uh, we have discussed today are basically five points and the next uh, five points will be discussed in the next video so i hope you like this video and if you have any questions any doubts please do make sure to comment in the comment section because that helps me to understand how much you have understood and if you have any doubts then we can you know get uh, like go through and uh, answer them so i will see you in my next video till then stay positive and stay happy bye bye take care